Cosmo Show, all the top tunes. Hey, Mulligan. What are you doing? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> we give them just what they get in the big house. It's the Joey and Rory Show. Brought to you each week by Crosley Radio. With Wynn Marble, Marcy Gary, Heidi Feek, Bradley Walker, and me. Welcome again to the greatest farmhouse barn TV studio in the city of Pottsville, Tennessee. And now, welcome the greatest farm host. Here they are, Joey and Rory. I ride in old paint. I lead in old dam. I'm going to Montana to throw a hula hand. They feed. Their tails are all matted, their backs are all wrong. Right around, right around, real slow. The fiery and the snuffy are raring to go. Now, old Bill Brown had a daughter and a son one went to denver and the other went wrong his wife she died in a pool room fight and still he keeps singing from morning till night right around right The fiery and the snuffy are raring to go. Put it on my pony and lead him from his stall. Tie my bones to his back. Turn our faces to the west. And we'll ride the prairie that we like the best. Ride around, ride around real slow. The fire. Nice playing, folks. Honey, where'd you find that song? I found that off an old Linda Ronstadt record years and years ago. That's a good one. Y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. <laughs> you can pay mama at the counter. Her name's Louise. She's still trying to memorize the new register keys. We'd sure like to thank y'all for stopping in. If you're ever this away, come and see us again. Y'all come on in. Sit wherever you want. Well, this is about my favorite time of the year, to pull out the crock pot and make us a big old bowl of chili. Yes, Everybody yes. has their own recipes yes, for chili. Yes, yes. And I love this time of year, too, because I love going to work and coming home and having everything already done in the crock pot and smell it. And it's like, 
Dinner's done. Yes. Well, we're going to tell you how we make our prized chili here at Marcy Joe's. This is a recipe that came from a lot of different sources. Marcy had her spin on it. Our cook had her spin on it. Mm -hmm. And then at the last minute this morning, I put my spin in on it. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started and let you know how we get this going. So what we've done is we've taken a pound of ground beef and we've taken a pound of ground sausage. Now, you can use bison. You can use right. uh, buffalo, um, elk or any kind of meat that you'd right. like to use but we just use hamburger meat and pork. Uh, we diced up a couple onions. We put a couple cloves of garlic in here. Mm -hmm. And my take this morning was we had some Western omelet mix, and we make and the she best just omelets. Dumped it all. So <laughs> I grabbed a handful of Western omelet mix, which is onions and bell peppers and ham and bacon and so tomato, more sausage and, and tomato. Sausage, yep. So we're just going to ground all that nice and nice and uh, it smells together. So good. It smells really nice. Um, next. We don't drain the grease. This is actually a, a higher grade right. meat, so there's not a lot of right. fat in it. Next, we're just going to start dumping the ingredients in here. Mm -hmm. So what do we got here? We got our hot chili beans. Okay. And now you can use, we use Brooks. If you can't find Brooks, Bushes is fine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you want to make sure it's hot. That way it makes it a little bit spicy. A little bit of kick to it. Yep. Next, we have some tomato and sauce. Tomato sauce, probably a can or two cans. It really depends on how much chili you want to make. If you want to make a couple pounds of hamburger, a couple pounds of sausage, you know, you just kind of go by that. This and is then some, we got Rotel. Yeah, yeah, this is what gives a little bit of extra kick. I love putting Rotel in my uh -huh. chili. Yep, it's good. Next we have, believe it or not, yep. is jalapeno juice. Mm -hmm. Rory loves jalapenos. Yeah, So he I know. would put the jalapenos in everything. My in Michael there. loves jalapenos <laughs> too. And then some people, you know, you're used to just using a, a chili packet mix right. or something, but right. we decided just to use just the ground uh, spices. So mm -hmm. this is cayenne pepper. This is about a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. I really don't know. I just, yeah. there we go. You just don't. Perfect. <laughs> and then chili powder. We use a lot of chili powder. It yes. gives it some good kick. So this is about three tablespoons of chili powder. I also sometimes put, like to throw some cumin in there. That's and the that biggest gives three it... tablespoons I've ever seen. Well, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, add some cumin in it. Kind of gives it a Mexican flavor it does, to yeah. it. But you're just gonna mix this all together. <clears throat> some people I like to add. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. It really does. And I hear that uh, you you put this recipe recently in a. Uh, I did, in a chili cook-off. Chili cook-off. Yep, yeah. friends of ours that have a uh, car dealership down in Lewisburg. Lion Chevrolet. Lion Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. They had a chili cook-off on Halloween. And so... We've uh, got Carlton here yes, today. Yes, Carlton. Nice Hi, Carlton. Come on over here, Carl. So come Carlton. So Carlton called us. me a couple days before Halloween. How are and he you? Asked hello, 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 ladies. Good to see you. Good to be here. <laughs> Glad Good to, to be here. here. So Carlton mm. called me a couple days before Halloween and said, Marcy, we would love for you to put your chili recipe in our uh, cook-off. And I'm like, yes. I was like, gosh, I, I've never done that before, but I'd love to. So we did, and they come and picked up a big crock pot. And then I never heard from him. I called him a couple days later, and he's like, well, Marcy, I'm supposed to surprise you. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you won. I'm like, what? Oh, that's <laughs> so awesome. So excited. Well, I don't know if Carlton got to taste it the day of the cook-off. Did you get to taste it? No. No, oh, but this well, is you beautiful. Get to it. it might be a little hot. It so. went fast. Yeah, <laughs> I bet it did. And no. plus, he said it was like 14, 15 restaurants that entered their chili. So oh. that was so exciting. That's wonderful. Mm. It smells good. Wow. Is it? Isn't that good? Do you like that? Wow, yes. So good. Delicious. Good, good. wonderful. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. Why I'm here. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my, gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness! On behalf That's of Lion beautiful. Chevrolet, this is our seventh <laughs> annual chili cook-off, and I would like to award Marcy Joe's as winners of our uh, 2013 chili cook-off. Oh my wow. gosh! That's Fourteen beautiful. restaurants participated in this particular uh, wow. event. Congratulations! Thank well, you thank so you, much. That's thank beautiful. you, Lion Chevrolet. Wow! <laughs> Isn't that great? great? Our first it. trophy ever. I, I think we need to call this trophy chili. <laughs> yes, we do. And uh, we need to make a lot more chili here, yeah. apparently. <laughs> well, thank you, Carlton. Okay. You take your chili with you. All righty. You enjoy Thanks, that. Thanks, Carlton. Thanks so much. So good to see you. All right. Well, folks, you're not taking this yet, Carlton. We're going to keep this here. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> That's our trophy chili here at Marcy Joe's, where we're changing lives. One bite at a time.
1959 motion picture, Rio Bravo. Now let's hear it for our very own classy cowgirl, Heidi Fee. Sun sinking in the west, the cattle go down to the stream. The red wing settles in her nest. It's time for a cowboy to dream. because you're watching The Joey and Rory Show! The man who made us all think about it. Let's check in with Wynn Varble. <laughs> My buddy Eddie and his wife June was over grocery shopping one day and they went down the aisle there and Eddie picked up a case of beer and put it in the cart and she said, what do you think you're doing? We can't afford that beer. He said, no, no, no. He said, it's on sale. It's, it's 24 cans for $15. She said, put it back. Well, they went on down the aisle and she found some face cream for $30. He said, no, no, no. We can't afford that. I said, no. $30 for face cream? She said, Eddie, it makes me look beautiful. He said, so does 24 cans of beer, and it's half the price. That's the last thing he remembered till the supermarket PA come on saying, clean up on aisle nine, got a husband down. Most people know that I'd rather make things at home than buy them at a store. 
And since Rory loves jam and butter on my homemade bread, this fall I decided to make my own pear butter. When harvest time came around, we were able to pick a few pears from the young tree at our farm, but most of them we picked at our neighbor Johnny Ring's house. Miss Yuna, his mama, planted them long ago. And though she's passed on, her pear trees remain. Ranger, look what we got. Something that I didn't know is that pears don't ripen on a tree. Once they're picked, you have to cover them in boxes or brown paper bags and let them ripen for two weeks. When mine were ready, my friend Julie and I carried them in, washed them, cut them in quarters, then started cooking them down. I let mine boil until they were nice and soft. We're old school. We just grind away. The next step is to put them through a food mill or sieve to remove all the peelings and seeds. In the process of this, you're left with the pulp, which is the good stuff. Then we run the pulp through a cheesecloth to separate the juice from the pulp. I love pear juice, so that's just an added bonus to this process. <laughs> You're getting my ankles, aren't you? <laughs> I can't help it. My ankles are pregnant. Then we add a little sugar to the remaining pulp, heat it again, then start pouring it in the jars. When the jars are filled, we put them in a canning water bath, which we heat with the propane from our turkey fryer. <laughs> I let them boil in the water for 15 minutes, then remove them from the heat and let them set until the jars cool and the lids pop. That's how you know they have a good seal. Since we don't have a root cellar, I store mine on top of our pie safe, so they're ready for Rory to open up with my next batch of homemade bread.
How you feeling tonight? Feeling good. You're looking good. Well, thank you. Planting the garden and watching it grow And keeping it country on the radio That's important to me Yes, it is. Yeah, that's important to me Don't forget about what's most important to you. I'm Joey. And I'm Rory. Tune in again next week. Same place, same time. Media.